This is the Prevail Point Podcast with motivational speaker, best-selling author, and entrepreneur, Janari Arsikoto. A show dedicated to offering practical, real-life pointers on how to live a life of victory. Here's your host, Janari. God bless everyone today. I am so excited. We are back. This is part two of Emotions Are Overrated. I am sitting here with my sister, Janalee Gray. Yes, she is a minister of God. You have just joined the Prevail Point with Janari Arcecaro, the author of Prevail, The Process of Overcoming. And I am just so excited to introduce her. And I tell you why, because we start realizing that this world right now is in turmoil. Hey, it is reality. We are in unprecedented presidented on certain times this year. 2020 is going in history. I told you guys that it will, and I know that it's going to, but we are entering 2021 and we need to realize that the same struggles that were going on this year, they're probably going to go on in 2021. And depending on the decisions that you make today, it's going to be the decisions and the outcome that you're going to have tomorrow. You still make those decisions. I know things have happened. I know people have passed away. I know it has been a year of of just a lot of sadness. But a lot of times through that sadness, you have seen God. Don't lie to me. I know you've seen God through the little things. And if you happen, if you haven't, open up your eyes. Open your eyes and see the greatness of God all around you. So last week, we were talking about how The devil came to destroy you, but God came to give you life abundantly. We were talking about the angel of God, literally an angel of God guarding your heart and guarding your mind. We were talking about how uh, 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 the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. We were talking about Ephesians 6, where it says that 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 your fight is not against flesh and blood. And we forget that, Jana, every day almost, yes. we got to remind ourselves that the battle is yes. not against flesh and blood. Yes. We got to remind ourselves every single yes. day, right? Our battle is against the devil itself, is against principalities, yes. is against all the enemies of the darkness. But we also need to realize that God is giving us the the ability and all the tools that we need to overcome. So Jana, talk a little bit about last week and let's get into how emotions are overrated. Amen. Amen. Our struggles are not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. This is Ephesians 6, 12. And it's, you know, we sometimes we fight against each other and we fight against people. Mm-hmm. But the, the the Bible is, is, is plainly stating that we're fighting a spiritual warfare. Yes. You know, but God has given us the resources. God has given us the, the answers. He has given us the weapons. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yes. So they are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. Ooh. So we have the power to overcome. We have the weapons of God. But we have to stand, you know, in the right place in order for God to, to give us that, that that support. We have to be in obedience to his word. Yes. And I was saying last week that sometimes we are uh, we, 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 we struggle with thoughts and we struggle with things that come into our minds because of our emotions. Yes. We get very emotional. You know, yes. our soul is where we carry our emotions and we carry our feelings. And we get very, um, especially as women, I can speak as a woman and yes. as a mom, as a wife, that sometimes things that happen, up, that happen around us, we take it personal and we take it, you know, we get very emotional about it and, and we get sad or we get uh, uh, weary and we get um, very depressed, you know. But God has given us weapons it, it, because this war is not against flesh and blood. So I was reading um, if, uh, Ephesians, no, not Ephesians, Philippians 4, 7, that said, you know, 
And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, and I know this is a verse that you use a lot yes. in your podcast because you have come to an understanding yes. while you were going through anxiety and while you were going through your depression after you had the baby and yes. you were struggling with that, you know, which, uh, you know, the Lord had also brought a revelation to me as, uh, you know, while I study his word, that sometimes those spirits come among us when we are in, in, in a very emotional state. Yes. So when we are in a very emotional state, like having a baby, mm-hmm. you know, um, and postpartum, and, and postpartum um, you, we get very emotional because our bodies are going through changes and it's yes. hormonal. Yes. So the enemy, he finds that little, you know, vacancy open and open yes. door and, and, and he says, let me sneak in here. And we have to, um, we, we do understand, you know, and I, and I talk as a professional mental health uh, 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 um, um, counselor yeah. that, you know, it is true that there are many struggles in the mind that have to do with mental health. There are many conditions in the human body and in the human brain that take you to a certain place and that, you know, as humans, we struggle because we have to be able to be healthy in our minds, but we struggle in in that area because of our situation at the time. Mm -hmm. So the enemy takes that, 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 that moment and he tries to sneak in there and that's yes. when anxiety comes that's when fear comes you know it may be a natural it may be natural for us to be fearful yes. because fear gives us an indication that something is wrong yes. and sometimes fear takes you out of danger yes. but at the same time mm-hmm. fear can be a, a form where that the enemy uses to take you to a place that your mind cannot come out of yes like fear is false evidence appearing real yes although yes. fear in in its con- Content is 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 a good thing because it's gonna take you out of danger. Right. But when you focus on that fear, it's false evidence appearing real. It's thinking about something that hasn't even happened right. yet right. and living in it as right. it already happened. Right. And in our emotions and our soul, we take it that far. Yes. So in our minds, I'm already dying. In my mind, yes. I already, you know, I I, I, I had an accident. Yeah. Or in my mind, my baby died. Or, yeah. or, or in my mind, I already yeah. lost my job. So in my yeah. mind, you know, but that's where the enemy takes it. He takes it further so that we can start believing his lies when he's putting those in our minds. But the Bible says, do not be anxious for anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition. That's the problem. We don't pray. Yeah. Oh. We don't pray wow. and we don't thank God. Yes. You know, by prayer and supplication, we petition God. We thank him, you know, in advance. We don't immediately say, oh, you know, woe is me. And we quickly go into this pity party. You yes. know, yes, there are situations sometimes that, you know, when you lose a loved one or, or when there's a, you know, when there are real that, situations, yeah, real situations yeah. in life that we have that we have to struggle through. But what I'm saying is that some 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 people have this as a habit. You know, they fall into this pity party because, you know, my boyfriend left me. Yeah, because yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, 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 you know, I didn't get a job, or, whatever it may be. You know, I had a fight with the family or whatever. Yeah, because they, they, they just not living right. So everything is an emotional chaos. Everything mm-hmm. is a drama. Mm-hmm. You know, because they don't pray and because they don't petition God and because they don't thank God, they fall into this anxiety, this, this fear, mm-hmm. this fall mm-hmm. evidence of, of false evidence appearing real, appearing real, mm-hmm. and then they forget that the Bible says, and the peace of God, which transcends mm-hmm. all understanding. Standing will guard your heart. And last week I said that guard is not just a word. In the Greek, it is a being, a, a angelic being that's actually there, a warring angel that's there in your presence, guarding your mind from being attacked by the enemy wow. and, and, and his wow. devils and his demons. And he's guarding your heart because once he has your mind, it goes into your heart. That's how sin starts. Yes. You know, you think wow. about it and all of a sudden, boom, it goes into your heart and now you're sinning. And mm-hmm. you disobey God now and whatever. Rooted. Right. Now it's rooted. Right. Yes. So what, what we were saying last week was, you know, we have to, you know, understand that God wants the best for you. And he has given you the tools. And I was saying last week, we need to pray back to God his word. Yes. Because he backs up his word. Yes. So if he said it, mm-hmm. he will do it. He will back it up. Oh, yes, he, he will. will confirm it. Yes, he will. He will. He would. He would. You know, he will give you the answer. Everything that he promised will come to pass. But we, there are principles that we need to follow. We we need to pray. We yeah. need to, yeah. you know, be obedient. Petition God. We need to thank, thank Him, yeah. and, and and we need to understand that these thoughts are not ours. But uh, look at what it says, right? In John fourteen twenty seven, peace I leave with you. Like He's telling you, I'm gonna leave you with this. Mm-hmm. Peace I leave with you. I leave with you. My peace I give you. That's right. I do not give to you as the world gives. 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. Be troubled. There we go again Amen. with the heart. There we go again with don't let your heart be troubled. Right. There we go again with God guarding your heart. Mm -hmm. And do not be afraid. Invited into the world of Ginari Arce Cotto, entrepreneur, influencer, public speaker, and best selling author. But everyone has a story. Prevail, the process of overcoming, is hers. It's a story of a woman who came from humble beginnings and her daughter who had all the odds stacked against them. But in spite of all of the abuse, shame, infidelity, rape, and misogyny, they found strength through their faith in Jesus Christ to prevail over it all. Available everywhere books, ebooks, and audiobooks are sold in Spanish and in English. Are you serious? Amen. Like, when you read these verses, Jana, you don't have no other choice but say, God, you know, you have given me all the tools that right. I need in order to overcome Amen. this situation. Amen. In order for me to be able to enter into the peace of God, you have given it to me. Amen. But the tr the struggle is, Jana, sometimes, is that we sometimes we say the verses, sometimes we know the verses, but we still feel the fear. We right. still fear the, 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 the trouble in well, our heart. Because we say it by route. It's something you memorize and it's something that you know. Or maybe you grew up in church and you just know this verse because mommy's saying it all the time or, or papi is saying it all the time. And yep, I've heard yep. it in, in, in a sermon, but it hasn't become real to you. The word of God is alive. Like, the yes. word of God is alive. So if, if, if that's the rhema word of God. It becomes alive. It becomes real. It's not just the written word. It's not just the word that was written in a book. It's not just something that someone wrote down. You know, it is rhema. God wants to make it alive in you. And, and, and the way this happens, could I take it a little deeper? Could I take the way this happens, right? <laughs> we love it. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to take it deeper because people sometimes ask you questions and you're like, because of the lack of knowledge, you're not getting to where you need That's to be. What we said last week. And yes. the reason why most people don't understand that God is leaving you peace. God is telling you, don't be afraid. God is telling you your heart not to be troubled. And they don't, although they say it, they don't feel it. It's because they don't have a relationship right. with God. Right. They don't have a connection right. with God. Right. It's like a guy from the street coming up to you and saying, I love you. You look at him and you're like, okay, you're weird. You know, right. I, I actually just shared a text with right. you earlier right. about whatever. But anyway, so mm -hmm. somebody or a ministry saying that to me and I was like you don't even know me like how could you still love me right but it, it, it's almost like somebody that you don't have a relationship with you right. telling you that and you don't feel it and but yeah if your that's husband what it is, is telling you that or if you're with a boyfriend or a fiance that right. has intimacy with you right. right that takes out time to talk to you to make right. you feel pretty to make you feel loved and then they tell you I love you wow you you ready it's to another just, level right, right. It's another <laughs> you level. believe it right and now you feel protected right And I right. think the, the the deepness of what we're saying is that God is giving you all the tools, mm -hmm. but he's looking for you to have a relationship right. with him so that the word could become Rema word. Right. The word could become alive so that you can actually believe what you're reading. And it's not just a regular text that's coming out of nowhere. Right. Absolutely. That's why it says, you know, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, mm -hmm. whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. Yes. If anything is excellent and praiseworthy, think about such things. Wow. We need to think on these things, not on our emotions. Our emotions, we cannot make decisions on our emotions. We cannot decide something based on how I feel. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I may feel, you know, sad today, but tomorrow, you know, the joy of the joy Lord is my strength, morning. you know? Yes. So we can go by our feelings. We can't decide who God is by our feelings, by our thoughts. You know, we need to take a, a, a hold of the word of God. We need to make this word real in our hearts because 
the word of God is God. God is the word. Mm-hmm. And the Bible says God is love. Love yes. is God. Yes. So it's it's yes. all it all works together. Mm-hmm. It's 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 not just God by himself without his word. It's not just the word by itself written in a book, you know. It's God all around. He he is he is the word. He is what he says. He is love. He is the answer to your life. He is, you know, those things that 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 you read in the word are who God is. So when he says that his peace that transcends all understanding will guard your heart. He really means that. Mm-hmm. It is mm-hmm. what it is. Mm-hmm. So we need to renew our minds every, every every day. And we spoke about that last week. You know how it's a renewal of your mind. In Romans, it talks about renewing your mind every day and coming to an understanding that, you know, the world shouldn't choose for you who you are. Yes. The world, you shouldn't conform to what the world is and who the world says you are. But you need to conform to the reality of who God is. Yes. And that is in having yes. a relationship with him. So, so look at, look, listen what it says, just to get deeper into what you're saying, right? In John 1, 1 through 5, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. That's Come it. on. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. That's it. In him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome. That's That's what we're talking about. We're talking about prevailing. We're talking about overcoming. We're talking about making people understand that your emotions are overrated and you need to have a relationship with God so that you Mm -hmm. can realize that we need to live in the spirit and not in the flesh. Right. Because as we said last week, you know, we don't wage against the world. You know, it's not, this is not a fleshly uh, fight. If if you really want to know who God is, you need to get in the spirit. You need to know his word. You need to renew your mind every day. Emotions cannot, you know, decide, as I said before, who you are, what you're going to do, where you're going to go, cannot decide your future. If that was the case, we'll be changing our mind every day. Yes. Because emotions, you know, they vary every day. Yes. Today I'm sad, you know, tomorrow I'm okay. The next day, I don't know, I I can go (laughs) fall back into depression because I didn't buy the shoes that I liked or they didn't have them in the (laughs) store. So we get very emotional about things, you know, but God wants us to understand that, you know, what the world says is not what we have to live by. You know, we have to live by who he is. We need to understand that through obedience to God, we can see his glory and understanding and prosperity as you have spoken about in your life um, this y- yesterday. Yes, yes. You know, um, prosperity doesn't come by thinking negative. Yes. Prosperity doesn't come by, by being, you know, by, 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 by going by your feelings, you know, and how I feel today and tomorrow. You know, it goes by a daily walk with God. It goes by a daily, you know, it's like a, that word word that you guys use you know you uh is is a daily battle it's a daily um i forget the word Struggle? that you guys taught no when you're working hard and yeah, you yeah, yeah. grind hustle. grind hustle. hustle yeah hustle. jay says that yeah, a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. you know it's a grind it's a hustle you gotta work for it you know are you hungry if are you're you hungry, hungry you're gonna get it you know <laughs> so if you're hungry if you yes. really want to live yes. by the word of god you gotta be hungry for it yes that's wow. not something that god can give you no that's something that you gotta seek yes you know, yes. it's something that you have to want. You yes. have to want God. And you know, it's not about feelings because today I may not want to get up at six o'clock in the morning and fast. Yes. Today I may not want to read my word. Today I may not want to listen to yes. worship. Yes. But today I know that if I don't fight the fight, yes. uh, the good fight of faith, like yes. the word says, if I don't get up and and, sh- and, and, and grind my day and, and do my hustle, you know, in the spirit, the, you know, the evil day. We talked about in Ephesians 6. Yeah. When the evil day comes, you're not going to be ready. You're not going to be ready. Because you don't get ready when the struggle comes. No. You already have to be ready. Yes. You have to be yes. ready in your spirit. You have yes. to have the word in your mouth. You have to have the word in your mind. So when 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 your husband divorces you or when your wife leaves you, that's not the time to let, let me fast. Yeah. No, that's not the time because yeah. you're weary. Your body, your mind, yeah. you're, yep. you're yep. like, oh my God, I can't do this. Yep. No, you can't. But if you're, 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 you're having a daily fight in the spirit every day and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're reading your word and you're knowing your word and and you're fasting and you're reading you know the the and you're listening to worship you know and you're living a life right before the lord when the evil day comes mm. you're ready to fight yes because you don't fight against and you know flesh what? and blood it, 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 the, the issue what you're saying is that if you're a fighter 
you don't you don't practice right before you're gonna go into a fight. That's it. You're practicing every day, That's so it. when the fight comes, you know, you know, you know, you know the the right hook and the red hook, yes. and you know, you know what you're doing. You know? You're fighting against. At, at least don't get ready. No, the night before. No. Well, we <laughs> need to be spiritual athletes. That's it. You had to preach it That's on that. It. We yes, gotta, we gotta put that. Yeah. So could you agree that Jana needs her own podcast? I think she does. <laughs> she is amazing. I am so blessed to be with two women of God that we are honestly constantly together praying fasting for our children for our families for the ministry that God has for us and listen you have to agree that emotions are overrated and I want to I, I want to pray over you and your family. I want to bless you. I want to thank Jana for part two. Don't know if we're going to do a part three, but maybe we will. You'll never know. Because let me tell you, emotions is something that have ran sky high in 2020. And we got to make some changes because God wants us to get to the next level, to the next dimension in our lives. Hey, it's going to be Christmas in a few days. Merry Christmas to you and your families. I hope that you can have a good one. Hey, for us, you know, my daughter, uh, she um, is coming back. She she's coming back from college, and we we don't know. We don't know what the situation is. She was around some people with COVID, and we're trying to see what's going on. But we have faith, and we know she's gonna fight if that is the case. But either way, we are gonna have a good time with what we have today. So, Jana, thank you so much for your time, for your energy, Amen. and and let's see if we stick around and we do part three. Amen. What do you think? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> wow, my Bless podcasts are like a, a, a like a hundred minutes when she's on. I love it. I love it. She's amazing. God bless you. Until next week. Bye. Bye bye. This is the Prevail Point podcast with motivational speaker, best-selling author and entrepreneur, Janari Arsikoto. A show dedicated to offering practical, real-life pointers on how to live a life of victory. Here's your host, Janari. Janari.